This is where I was born. This is where I prayed. When I was a child, I felt close to God. All the rituals, like confession and the communion, had a special meaning to me. As I got older, I became more concerned with uh, a career and raising a family. And I've seen the church only from the outside. But I always felt the need to strengthen my faith and get back to my faith. And what I needed for that was undertake a long pilgrimage and in order to once again feel my relationship with God. I chose the pilgrimage of Camino Santiago de Compostela, 800 kilometers long. It ends at the burial of St. James the Apostle, who was buried in Spain. I had to commit my body and my spirit I trained for four months. I didn't want to give up because my body was too weak. I was lucky to have the support of my wife. You have another uh, little bit before you get here. 34 kilometers by the time I get home. Right, yeah. Are you tired? No, I'm okay so far. I chose a stone from my home, a symbol of my old life. On the Camino, I will cast the stone away. My grandchildren are worried what will happen to me. I tell them, this is a journey I must take.
Et notez ah, pour demain, il faut qu'il soit à 22h, c'est ça ah, oui. Merci, au revoir. I register my name and pick up my credentials. I will now join all the other pilgrims on their journey. This has been amazing to me. Um, I was told that on the way, on the Camino, you will find yourself, you will come closer to your inner life. And I must say, it has been lovely to be uh, mixing between talking to people here, as people from all over the world, and partly going on my own and make reflections. And I have sort of got a kind of a puzzle in my life and I have found some bricks and they have just got down slowly. So now the picture become more mm, as a whole. I meet hundreds of pilgrims. I wanted to know what inspired them to make this journey. That would help me understand why I made my journey. Grunden til, at jeg er kommet til El Camino, er fordi um, jeg følte, at det var det rigtige for mig. Fordi um, jeg følte, at det var Gud, som har kaldt mig til at komme herover, Fordi um, jeg har haft rigtig svært med min familie. Og, um, og jeg føler, at det er en, en, en god vej for mig uh, med tilgivelse og um, afvisenelse for min familie. Og um, jeg tror på Gud. Og den her um, tur til El Camino, det handler om spiritualitet, ens forhold til Gud. Og specielt så har vi valgt at dedikere den her vandretur til min kones familie. Mm. Um, så derfor har det været en speciel ting for os, at vi kan gennemføre det og komme til Santiago.日本の、あの、東北の人たちがすごい悲しい思いをして、え、すごく僕たちも、あの、いろんな、あの、感情が生まれたんですけど、その日本の人たちも気持ちも一緒に自分たちと一緒にゴールのサンティアゴまで行け
camino. Dios. Well, this is fantastic. After days of uh, walking for kilometers and kilometers with a lot of people around, came to this spot and is the solitude and the trail is just inspiring. been a fulfilling journey for me because I'm beginning to see myself in other people to, to realize that we're all here for one common goal and we're all moving toward this one common goal and what we will do is we will all reach it but we will all reach it in our own way and I would say that what inspired me was a kind of uh, knowing that the Camino would be a journey of self-discovery and would also be an opportunity for my partner and I to have this experience together. Uh, probably the most significant thing for me has been meeting people from all over the world. Uh, the fact that all of us uh, from all different cultures have this one common purpose. I've been asked by people, what are you expecting? And I live by a mantra. My mantra is, do not expect, accept. So I'm open to whatever happens on the Camino. I think the beautiful thing about it is, at home I meditate, and doing the Camino is a form of meditation. It's really to go deep inside yourself to deal with whatever you want to deal with that day. Some days, it's what about the ego? How do I deal with ego? How do I shed everything dealing with ego? I think it's very interesting because it's a very unique experience for every single person. I'm sure that every person comes away from this experience with a realization of who they are. What's your name? Me. And you? How do you like the walk on the Camino? Uh, good. You, you like it? No. You're not tired? No. Kind of, huh? Eh, soy uno de los pioneros del ah, Camino pionero. Santiago. Ah. Oh. Yo hice el primer camino en el año 71. Oh. Pero el camino es una droga. El que se ¿Sí? mete no sale. Es una droga en positivo. ¿Y positivo? En sí. positivo. ¿Cambia a la persona? Sí, 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 sí. Cambia ah, completamente. Sí. A mí el camino sí. me ha... Eh, enseñado a ser mi amigo y amigo de los demás y sobre todo tres cosas fundamentales dar amor 
Ayer me fui cariño a de gol. y respeto. Gracias, mucha. A usted. Gracias mucho. Gracias. Wow. Buena. Sí, wow. está madura. Muy, muy dulce. Sí. The walk become spiritual when you, uh, as you walk, concentrate at Santiago and uh, think about the pilgrims many centuries ago have been walking along this, not being privileged by uh, the sort of things we have today. They had no idea what they would have encountered along the way. Many perils, including wolves at that time. No clothing, adequate clothing. The weather could have been very precarious and they would have taken them many, many months to arrive at destination. If we think of that, as I do, uh, you feel very humble. I've wanted to do this for so long. I'm finally here, and it's so exciting. I'm not very fast. I'm kind of old. I'm not doing a lot of kilometers, but I'm so happy to be here. And um, I'm here. I'm, I'm talking with Jean. I'm meeting so many people. I'm, um, I've had a lot of trials. Every day has a lesson, but I'm doing it. And I, I'm very happy to be here. Just a couple of days ago, I was sitting outside the church, and uh, one um, Korean young girl came to me and she said, I, uh, I have this I want to give you. And, and she put on my wrist uh, a bracelet, and she said, I made it for you. And I was kind of surprised, and she said, because you are a good man. Well, that perhaps is what uh, El Camino is all about. There are a lot of reasons, if you look at it as a way to put it in my hand, I don't 
그냥 여기서 걷는 게 너무 기대가 되고 내일이 기대가 되고 그냥 걷는 게 걷는 것만 아니고 되게 이 많은 만남들이 뭐랄까 제 남, 남은 다른 인생들도 기대가 되게 하는 그런 길인 것 같아요. 음. 아무튼 저는 여기서 제 삶의 동력을 얻었고 음, 뭔가 또 다른 청춘을 더 이어갈 수 있는 그런 동기가 된것 같아요. Yeah. I did a Camino uh, last year with three friends and I really never appreciated what was involved. Uh, it was to us, it was just the walk I'd heard about and we thought we'd do it. Um, and it wasn't until we got to Santiago that the full extent of what it meant came home to me. And for quite a long period, I got very emotional talking about it and thinking about it and being there. And I really couldn't understand why uh, that I should feel these emotions towards uh, a name of a place and a walk. Uh, so I felt I had to do it again. And I only decided uh, a matter of weeks before I set off that I have to do it. I felt the time was right. Uh, I want to discover what was there in Santiago, which perhaps I didn't see or fully appreciate. And I think the only way of doing it is doing the full Camino, so you can f experience a full, full gambit of emotion. Uh, I was talking to Jonathan earlier on, the emotions that you experience during the day are not only love, but anger, frustration, uh, elation, uh, and I've experienced all of these. And I want to find out what was at the end of the road, and that's why I'm doing the Camino. The beauty of the countryside made me feel closer to my faith. But it was also walking and walking and walking and feeling exhausted. The physical hardship cleared my mind of the material world. My mind was now open to my spiritual world. The suffering is necessary to purify. Amén. Es un viaje espiritual el que hace el peregrino. Un viaje interior. ¿Qué va pasando por el interior del peregrino? Primero es encontrarse solas consigo mismo en el camino. Eso invita a reflexionar, a pensar, a entrar dentro de sí mismo, a contemplar la naturaleza, ¿Qué le remite al Creador a pensar sobre su propia vida? Sí, yo sí. Bien. I am historian and part of the reason that I came on the Camino is because I like the history, the medieval pilgrim idea. I just like the feeling of um, of, of doing something that people have done for centuries and I, I like that. And I want to, uh, I don't know, kind of walk in their shoes. Like, yeah, this is what I want to do. I really didn't want to do it. Um, and my sister was going to do it. So I, I still didn't plan on doing it until I broke up with my boyfriend and moved back home and had no life plan anymore. I was kind of staring into a great abyss that is the world and had no idea what to do with it. And I'm going to cry. <laughs> I cry a lot. Um, and it sucked. This Pokemon just sucked a lot. It hurts and it's hard. Um, <laughs> but at this point, we're halfway through, and I feel so good to be halfway through. Um, and as sad as it's been in the beginning, I talked to some guy um, from from America too, and he said he's doing the pilgrimage to be to be grateful to God, which I thought was so cool. And at this point, now that I'm halfway done, and I've kind of worked through the hard things in the beginning. I, I am grateful to be here, and um, I want to, you know, the spiritual, the, the, the gratitude to be able to, to do this and to be able to 
work through the hard things and get to the other side. Um, and I'm really excited to get to Santiago, and I wasn't before, because um, it's the end, and, and I, I feel like I will be blessed, and I think I am already blessed. And so as, as much as I'm dragging my feet some days to get here, and it's really hard, <laughs> um, it's really worth it. We have what we call it, La Familia de Camino, you know? And it's like there's a group of us moving along together. Oh, okay. And we, we, that we, gentleman we, is with you? Yes, I mean, we, okay. we meet each other. Yes, and, yes. Uh, but we have called it La Familia del Camino. Del Camino, okay. And uh, it's, it's like a family moving along. Yes. And we, at the end of the day, we comfort each other. Right. Uh, because it's the same, the physical toughness is one part of it, but yeah. the mental toughness is the most. Okay. And uh, what do you expect by the time you get to Santiago? Is it something? Uh, do you well, expect something happen well, to you? Well, I have been to Santiago before. Oh, you did. So I did the section from Saria to Santiago, oh. and the one thing I asked for then was um, was peace uh, in my head yes. up here. Yeah. And I found it in. You did. I did, yeah, in the churches. So it's true that they say. Absolutely, absolutely. You know, something but extraordinary happened. From absolutely, the from it the happened to me, and, it, and I'm not. Okay. I'm not religious per no, se. No, no, yeah. I was a Catholic when I was younger, but just like uh, me, yeah, I we're being raised that way. But when I was in the Church of the Apostles, I asked yes. for peace, and yes. I found it, and it was like, it was like a weight lifting off your shoulder. Wow, like that. The most amazing experience. Very encouraging. Life. Absolutely, okay. but, but yeah. you have Tell to be—you have to be open there in, yes. your, in your heart. If you're not open, you get nothing. Right, of course. The, the door is closed. The door is you cannot closed. Cannot come in, right? You cannot come in. No, right. that's it. Okay. It was a pleasure. Buen Mucho camino. gusto. Mucho Buen gusto. Buen camino. Great. There is another factor that bring the, the Camino brings up the surface is the fact that we uh, discover our strength, strength, physical strength. That we can walk and we can put up with pain and, 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 and then we, we have far more stamina than we thought we had. And for that, we become grateful. We are, I am grateful. And it's not over yet about another 290 or 85 kilometers remaining before we get to Campostella. But uh, I'm welcome every kilometer of it. So that is more original, no? Oh, yes. Right? Couldn't agree more. Yeah. Gloria a Dios, Gloria a Dios, Gloria a Dios, 
inside that chapel, I confess to a priest something I haven't done in a long time. El Camino is giving you the uh, opportunity to think deep within yourself. And uh, you must wonder, like in my case, uh, from the same family, five children, three girls, two boys, and why I am so blessed to be able to do what I'm doing and walking along the Camino. And uh, when I think that uh, my brother is already dead for about two years at the age of 61, uh, you wonder why he had such a bad deal. And I'm so fortunate. Uh, two of my sisters are pretty much, unfortunately, not doing well, and uh, you know, that's what I'm thinking uh, from time to time. Oh, man. I wish to be alone, walking, and I am alone. I'm up in the mountains, I'm not sure where I am. I need water, and I must have walked today close to 40 kilometers. <laughs> what do you think, sir? <laughs> How do you find that climbing? <sighs> I've seen you before. Ho visto, ti ho visto prima. Credo che tu sia italiano. Io italiano. Eh, sì. Sto morendo. Io parlo italiano, quindi dimmi perché sei qua a fare il cammino, una... Per... per... nella vita si cerca sempre, io non so cosa cerco, cioè, ma... no, una cosa cerco, cerco la... la serenità dentro di me, e sulla strada, soprattutto sulla strada la trovo, anche se sono stanco, morto, fatico, eppure ti dico, sono felice. Ah, questa, questa poi, poi non lo so se c'è Dio, la verità, non lo so. Sta bene. Sono qua, non ho verità. Grazie. Sono un agnostico. Grazie tanto. Ciao. I am on my way uh, to the cross of the fair. It's a great expectation, so I'm looking forward to get there uh, and deliver my stone. <laughs> The stone that I carried all the way from home and I place at the feet of the Savior. Amen. The rock represents a time when I was only concerned with my day-to-day -day life and not my soul.
for me, the mantra of the Camino has been, it's all good, which is what I taught my friend Albi. And it's what I'm, I'm living by on the Camino. With only five days to go now, uh, each day is getting more and more important and faster and faster. So I look forward to each day just walking, which is what I love. One Camino. Late last year, I retired from work and I decided that I would do this walk to, as a transition from work into, to, into retirement. I didn't have an ex, a particular expectation, but I was hoping that this would help me um, to transition or to work out what I might do next. And in fact, what I'm finding is that I'm finding a voice that had been lost previously. And I'm here because years ago I read Paolo Coelho's book, The Pilgrimage, which um, spoke to me on a very deep level. And there was a little phrase that he wrote in a book of mine called Follow Your Heart, which I've clung to over that time. And here I am following my heart and hoping to find myself. To me, the Camino is life. You meet people, you will meet them again, some you will never see again. Um, you, um, one step in front of the other, that is life to me. I have met some amazing people, some that I hope I will see again, and some I know I will not see again. Um, there are injured people on the Camino, there are those who walk the Camino. To me, that is really a sense of life and what we experience in our lives. Uh, the journey has been, some days have been difficult, some days have been amazing. Um, just like life itself, you have your difficult days, you have your challenges, and you have your days that are like this. How prosperous are we? This, is, uh, this has been a very prosperous day for me. It's been beautiful, the scenery outstanding, and I hope to see more of this and experience more of this on, on my Camino. I'm excited. I'm just approaching Santiago, probably six kilometers from the center of the city. And uh, I've been walking for not quite an hour, passing people continually as I go. And here I come, I'm coming. I'm looking forward to look down the hill and see the cathedral. Okay, gracias. 
Because I haven't been there. 드디어 도착했습니다. 아, 이제 사실 정답은 아직 못 찾았어요. 그런데 어 이제 방향을 제시가 된것 같아요. 이제 앞으로 재밌게 살게요. 화이팅! I think I think arriving in Santiago is is hard because it's the end of something. Like the it wasn't that necessarily I wanted just to get to Santiago, apparently. I just, like, the whole way was part of it. All the people that you meet, and it, it becomes like, it becomes a moving family that comes with you along the way. And so being here at the end is, it's the end, which is weird. I am excited to get my Compostela, the official certificate that I walk the Camino. Hello. So, hi. Where are you from? Canada. Canada. Okay. Si. And you come on foot from? St. John's, Pied de Port. Did you walk the whole way? Walk all the way. And the reason for travel is religious. Religious. This is the stuff of the cathedral with the arrival here and at the end. And this is your Compostela. Your name is written in Latin. Welcome to Santiago. Fantastic. I am now a pilgrim. Like the pilgrims before me, I touch the statue of St. James with my hands. And then I visit the coffin of the Apostle. The burning of the incense is an experience I will never forget part of a special prayer that makes us pilgrims feel closer to God.
was it was nice. It was so many people, more people than I expected, and I was pretty exhausted. So paying attention was a little bit subpar. But the swinging incense was so cool. It was huge, and I thought it was really impressive. But after people people were crying, people really were emotional. I think even though I wasn't feeling that strong emotion, it was really interesting and. and uh, it was a good group feeling that we were all there together. I suppose it was sort of a closure moment, and I liked how we all got to sing with with the little nun who taught us little bits of song, and we all got to sing together. And I love singing, and so hearing us all sing through with the cathedral and the echoing that was cool. Um, and the incense that was amazing. <laughs> it just swung so high, and I wish I wish I could have seen the place before it got all gold and when it was really medieval and when that incense burner was the coolest thing I'd ever seen in my entire life. <laughs>
Oh, you're too.